Hello, my name is Hugo Cuevas Moore, and in this video I want to show you how to use Bitcoin for international remittances. First, it is necessary that the sender and receiver create their own Bitcoin wallet. This can be easily done on sites like airbits.com, blockchain.info, among many others. It is important to say there is no limit to the number of wallets you can create and hold, and very few limitations on the number of transactions between any wallets. Once the sender and receiver have their own Bitcoin wallets, they are both ready to exchange. But the sender wallet has to have Bitcoins, of course. These Bitcoins then need to be acquired. You can purchase Bitcoins from a Bitcoin exchange, you can go online and after registering and providing necessary information, you purchase Bitcoins with your debit card or transfer from your bank account. Once the transaction takes place, you can move the Bitcoins to your wallet. There are multiple options depending where you are to buy Bitcoins. You can do a face-to-face -face transaction and buy them from a friend or broker. You can find a local seller with online services such as localbitcoins.com. You can receive Bitcoins in exchange of services, goods, through an ATM. You can go to a foreign exchange company and buy them, depending on your local market. Now, once the sender has Bitcoins in his wallet, the Bitcoins are ready to be sent to the receiver's wallet. But for that, the sender needs to know the wallet address of the receiving wallet, which is a long series of letters and numbers specific for each wallet. Wallets are getting better at exchanging wallet address. You can send that address by email, text, even a QR code image. With the address, the sender then remits the Bitcoin he or she wants to the receiver's wallet. And in a matter of minutes, the receiving wallet gets credited with the Bitcoin sent. And the sending wallet gets debited. You can do that this 24 hours a day from anywhere in the world. Very fast, very convenient, very cheap. This transaction has a cost of 0.001 Bitcoins, which is around 3 cents of a dollar. No, that's very cheap. The beneficiary of the remittance is now in possession of the Bitcoins. He or she can keep them as savings, knowing that the price of Bitcoin might rise or fall, purchase goods or services where Bitcoin is accepted, or exchange the Bitcoins for local currency. The exchange can be done in many ways depending on the city or country where the receiver is. A face-to-face -face transaction with another Bitcoin wallet holder can be done in exchange, a local foreign exchange dealer, an online one, or even use an ATM. Now, there are many, many ways you can do that depending on your market. You can also send those Bitcoins to a trusted Bitcoin exchange, and that Bitcoin exchange can deposit the local funds in your bank account or prepaid card. I hope you found this video useful, and remember, that you can find more content on our YouTube channel, on our website, imtcconferences.com, our Twitter or Facebook accounts. And if you have questions, just write to us. We'll try to guide you. Thank you. Till next time.